Engies II refers to part of an assemblage, discovered in 1829 by Dutch physician and naturalist Philippe Charles Schmerling in the lower of the Schmerling Caves. The pieces that make up Engies II are a partially preserved calvaria cranium and associated fragments of an upper and a lower jaw, a maxillary bone and an upper incisor tooth of a two- to three-year-old Neanderthal child. The Schmerling Caves are situated just north of the Belgian municipality Engies, from which this group gets its name. In 1833 Schmerling described and publicized the find, which included animal bones and stone tools. Recognizing their old age, he associated them with the «Ethiopian type» of the Diluvial period. Although it was not recognized as such until 1936, the publication represents the first scientific description of a Neanderthal fossil. <laughs> Early misclassification. Originally misclassified as modern, the fossil received little attention after its publication in the 19th century as it was compared to Engie's one the very good and almost perfectly preserved skull of an adult Homo sapiens. In 1758 Carl Linnaeus had published the tenth edition of his work Systema Naturae in which Homo sapiens as a species name was introduced to the public, yet without a thorough diagnosis and without a precise description of the species' specific characteristics. As a result, any criteria by which a fossil of the species Homo sapiens could be classified into and distinguished from the genus Homo did not exist in the early 19th century. Even Thomas Henry Huxley, a supporter of Darwin's theory of evolution, saw in the 1863 findings of the Engies cave a man of low degree of civilization, and also interpreted the Neanderthal I fossils of the Kleiner Feldhofer grot unearthed in 1856 as belonging within the range of variations of modern man. Additionally, the skull of an infant Neanderthal and an equally old child of anatomically modern humans are of far greater resemblance than their respective adult skulls. The vast majority of the anthropologists of the 19th and early 20th century considered all hominid fossils as belonging to representatives of early «races» of modern man. Hence it was incorrectly believed that the modern man's skull Engies I must be related to the child's skull Engies II. Reclassification and age Two radiocarbon dates are available for Engies II. However, the earlier result of 26,820 plus or minus 340 radiocarbon years before present BP was considered to be too young by the authors and likely to be a result of contamination, so has been discarded. The more accurate date is 30,460 plus or minus 210 radiocarbon years BP, which corresponds to 34,590 to 36,110 years BP after calibration. The assignment of Engies II to Homo neanderthalensis and Engies I to Homo sapiens was primarily based on anatomical and chronological comparisons as Engies II was recovered in the context of Neanderthal Mousterian artifacts. Condition of the bones and associated assemblages In 1986 cut marks were found on the top of the skull of Engies II, which were later identified as to be preparation damage, "...formed during restoration of the vault, molding striae formed when mold part lines were incised into the fossil and profiling striae formed when craniograms were made with sharp steel instrument tips." The findings are preserved at the collections de paleontologie animale et humaine of the University of Liege. The bone fragments called Engies III have gone missing. The evolutionary origin of an ulna forearm bone fragment called Engies IV discovered in 1872 is unclear, it has to date not been associated with a specific taxon. See also List of fossil sites with link directory List of human evolution fossils with images Neanderthal Neanderthal 1 Neanderthals of Gibraltar